Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner. I'm MJ Haggis and we're in the BM-17 in Scandinavia on Season 11. We're going to quickly just tidy up these trucks, get them down to the main road by the gateway, but we're going to jump to the element of water. It's the four service spare parts that are dumped downstream. We'll try and get them recovered and back to their drop-off point. But we're going to get these turned, which is easier said than done with a dolly trailer. What a think we'll do is just reverse back and we'll get the white western star turned and back down first of all so but let's get this guy out of the way now would be the time for a dolly lock let's test my reversing right off the bat okay, i'm gonna go that way a wee bit and then back a bit more Keeping it straight. Okay, you stay there. In fact, no, a little bit more. Stay there. Right, we're going to jump into the white. Engine on. We're going to go up there, reverse back in there, and hopefully then move the BM up where we were. I normally do this kind of stuff off screen just because it's just a little bit different. I thought I'll just keep you with me. A bit of reversing action to start with. Trailer right over the cliff. Right, will we get round there? Once more. Oh. Right, he's good to go. Let's get him just round the corner and make room for the Royal BM behind him. I tell you what, we'll just get this guy right down to the road. Let's go, go, go. No point in stopping the engine and switching. White Western started really well. No credit to my driving, all credit to the White Western Star. Okay, that was misaligned. Yeah, that was that was my driving again. Fortunately, we do have a repair station nearby. If that's where he's going, either that or the garage. I don't know if we're going to need any more long logs. I mean, that's the gateway there, but we'll just park him up on this verge. Just in case. A room behind, loads of room. Right, engine off. Back up to the Royal BM. Right, you're going to go up this way. Ah, can I do a wee... Ah, let's kind of brute force it. Go around this way. A nicer view as well. glitching in the physics. I can't believe they haven't had a hot patch or a hot fix out yet. Very disappointing, Sabre. Get it together. Again, it's another case of you put out a map, everybody jumps on it, completes it, and then at some point later they fix it. By which point nobody's going back to it. Unless there's people that are miles behind, maybe picking up the game much later. It just feels all very retrospective and pointless. Not pointless, it's always good to get the fixes done. I'll leave you there. Engine off. Okay, so again, both of these could end up going through the gateway if that's the best place for them. Service pair parts. Now the next one... Now they're all here, these four here, and they only have to go there. So what I was thinking was, we're going to jump into the Voron, which I had left up by the log station, because the trailer's also there, and the Voron came with a vanilla crane, as you would expect, and we're going to try and get these three on this north-easterly side of the river, and then 
I was going to jump into... I've got something here, the pike, I think it is. Yeah, the pike. Has this got a... Wait, well, it does have a crane. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Snuggly fitted in there. And the pike will go and get this one and drive it around. That saves a lot of messing about. And I think that will work rather well. So let's jump into if I can get... There he is, the Voron. Not a bit of a surprise. Nice. Again, vanilla truck with... Tires that need to be replaced. But it's worked so far. So let's continue and keep our fingers crossed. Hey, that Tega, I think, will also probably need to go back. I don't think we'll need that log trailer either now. We'll, I'll keep it handy just in case. Now where am I going out onto the main road, which is this way? Don't need to worry about fuel or damage currently. Damage I may just add to. We've got to get this trailer back on its wheels now. That's also easier said than done. Check the map. Yes, it is. That's the way. Straight through there, across the water. Right, okay. Fine day for server spare part rescuing. for this trailer because it's already on its side it should be touch wood it should be fairly easy to get back on its wheels as long as the wheels don't slide on the ground Let's just go right the way round them into the water a wee bit. Could have probably grabbed that service spare parts right while I was there, but never mind. We'll go in here. Yep, that's pretty much exactly how I thought that was going to go. Or hoped it was going to go. Knock it over now. Backwards and forwards. Now, do I pick it up now? Well, it's going to be in reach. I should be fine, I think. Where's the next one? Away down there. We're back up onto the road. So what I think I'll do is I'll try and get the trailer hitched up. Hopefully that was a slide under there. Okay. Yes, slide. Start. First one. Oh, that'll be the horn. I'll scare the birds away. Yeah, the vanilla one's so underpowered.
Can't lift it any higher. There we go. Reel it in a bit. And we're going to put it as far away as possible. Put it there. Click. There we go. Right. Let's restore the crane. And pack that first one. Nice. find out where's the next one so we're back onto the main road along the railway tracks is not very sensible and down into there somehow hopefully that's just snow that we can cross and not a big rock and then back up again or maybe, maybe go along the shoreline to pick up the final one on this side okay turn turn the little road on Nice and wide around these trees. Come on, climb out of there. Oh no. Am I even going the right side of the rocks? Let's go the other way. That's working. Right. Okay, hard left. Hard left. Come on, turn. You did not want to turn at all there. Come on. Don't make it hard for me, Voron. I know you can do this. Hard left. There we go. Oh, you hit that tree. Yeah, that's not going to despawn. That's better. for it I'm ever so conscious of going into deep muddy water with these tires but he seems to do really really well let's try and stay on the right hand side if we can Get off. Got a full heart. Oh, there he goes. Finally. Good. I don't know what it is that suddenly allows the physics to allow the tires to get climb over the rail and get off. As long as it happens at some point. It's not snow, it's rocks, and I can't turn there. Okay, what's our way down to the beach? Ain't gonna reach that with a crane. I'm going to leave the trailer there and just go and fetch it with the Voron itself. Okay, there. I'll just sneak through the trees. That tree might... Oh no, missed the tree. That's unusual for me. Any excuse to destroy a tree and I seem to find it. Oh, like that. Let's get turned. Feet wet. Right. 
we will put the handbrake on. Why am I ro Right, cancel crane. Rolled away. I just want to put the handbrake on. There we go. Funny, when I was rolling there, I had no control of the crane. I've never really experienced that before. And I've played this game quite some time now. And we'll just drop you down onto that fifth wheel. Okay, good. Which way did we come through in there? I don't think it was, but that'll do. Definitely the easiest way to do that. And I'm going to drop him behind that other one. If we do reach the final one, we don't need to detach. I'll just go on. Good. Let's restore the crane again. Go oh, and unpack and repack. Nice and tidy. Right, last one. The last one for the Voron, I should say. Not the last one outright. Yeah, that looks a little bit nasty as well. I think I'll end up doing the same trick for that. Let's drop the trailer nice, nice and level ground. How's that look? That looks fairly level. Always wary when those legs go down if it tips over. Right, where are we going to go down to the water's edge? Straight down that snowy bit? It looks like a bit of a drop off the rocks, but maybe. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I thought I was going to have to go down through here and round. That's all right. Get a little bit further back. Those rocks will do as chocks for me. Put the handbrake on. Great. Right, reel them in since I can't quite go any further. Jam them in. A bit skew if but that'll do sweet okay now from here we can just go up the back road there and then 
that's worked out rather well especially considering we're using the pike for the final one yeah sorry signpost yeah a um, bit of a pain to drive all of this all the way around to come all the way back across the rocks Somebody shut the gate on us again. Let's let them know to come and open up the gate. Da, that'll do for me. Might as well drive through the repair zone. Right, might as well just top out some fuel since we're going right past as well. So we're fully fixed. Refuel. That one, me. That worked out rather well too. And we've gained another trailer out of this. E no, that's not what I was wanting to do. Let's move on to the next one. Cargo man, that had me worried there for a sec. Cool, oh, three down. Uh, we'll just leave the Voron there, no point in moving him at the moment. And let's go and find our pike. There it is. Right, up and arm. What is the easiest way? Is it down this way, past the Kenworth? Yeah, down past the Kenworth. Probably, I don't know what this bit here is, if you can see my mouse there. That rocks again. I think it'll probably be a case of all the way down to the water line. And then look for a way across. I don't see... I mean, that does look like there's a little bit of a roadway... If you see that, but where's that come from? I don't know. I do now. Okay, well that kind of answers that question. Forget that. We're coming off of that junction there to there. And over. Right, let's put the map back. That will seriously confuse me. Right, let's go. Come on, little pike, it's getting dark. That is nasty snow. Lots of wheel spinning going on there. Actually gonna need lights on slightly. That sun must be going down fast with is it? Yeah. Not the most obvious of roads. I'm glad I didn't try and cut through the water there, that would have probably ended in a drowned truck. Let's realign that. Well, that's no bother. Okay, over that crate. Yeah, my mouse, there we go. Looks like it's not the only thing to have washed up downstream.
Just drop right in there. Like that. And restore. Nice. Okay, I would have sensibly I would have packed that at the front. Never mind. Right, from this side, there's no way across to there. That would have been too easy, so we have to go back. And it's basically back the same way to get onto this asphalt road and all the way around. Okay. Not to worry. See if we can get me round in one go. Nope. Okay. Jousted myself on that fallen tree. That's a good day's work done, I think. Tidied up the landscape of service bear parts. That's always a good thing. Don't know what's in there that could be leaking nasty substances into that river. That is some pretty nasty snow, actually. Pretty nasty. I'm not going to worry about fuel. I'll leave that little scout fuel trailer intact because we've got 142 litres and I'd rather take it from the big fuel carrier. Let's hope I can make it that far though. An evening drive to the drop off. Right, let's go in cab. Yeah, okay, it's quite dark. And noisy. Sorry, earplugs warning. Or headphones warning. Okay, that's rather dark. Let's just park it up on the road and we'll set off in the morning. I don't know, afternoon as it really will be. Time of day. Oh, half past seven. Yeah, he needs to stop for his dinner anyway. A nice lie in. Has this thing even got a... No, it's just... Yeah, I don't fancy sleeping on that bench seat. Put the lights back off again. This is very vintage. notice there's no key in the ignition. <laughs> nice if you could see a set of keys dangling from that. That'd be quite cool. I mean, if they can make the CB cable dance about. We're doing, is that 50 kilometers an hour? Full speed, yeah, 50. Day. Ooh, wrong side of the road. I really need to get onto that movie side of movie stuff, props and stuff side of things soon. in cab view. It's just not very practical sometimes, especially when you're off-road. Full speed. That's not something you would generally do. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, that's cool. Is that, is that frozen on the windscreen? Because it's cold. Right, barrier. It's slowly melting away. Oh, that's quite a nice wee touch. I never noticed that before. In the frozen mats. I'm assuming that was ice that just quickly thawed out. Fast freeze and then fast thaw. When you're thinking, do attention to detail like that. Give me some ignition keys. Nice. Mirror signal and maneuver. Nobody in the cab. Okay. Let's get rid of this lot. Job done. Water can be unpredictable indeed. Thank you for your help. So that's the element of water done. 4,350 cash in our bank and 480 XP. Nice. We actually have 1,608,316 cash now. We are not skint. Um, let's move away just in case we need the Voron out of there. Back it up a wee bit. I'll probably end up driving into the repair station just to get that uh, engine damage repaired. Engine off. We are good for a wee break. Right, uh, let's get outside. And I'm going to call it here while I figure out the next task. Guys, I hope you come back and join me for that. Thank you so much for your time, and you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.